Uh, the home run, man. What did that mean to get the first one in the stadium? Um, I mean, it was a pretty, pretty cool feeling. Uh, I definitely didn't think it was going to be me. I mean, we have a pretty stacked lineup, but um, I don't know. It was, it was kind of tough. I kind of blacked out a little bit running, running around the bases. I was not expecting to do it. So it was just a big surprise. Well, kind of walk through the about. What did you hit there? What did you see? Uh, it was a fastball uh, away. And I just, me, uh, Matt and uh, Robin and I have been working on, you know, trying to stay through the ball a lot more. And uh, I guess it finally started working out for me right there. So, which is a good thing. And for either one of you guys, what does it mean today to finally get to open this place and play a game? And you've been practicing here for a while, but to get fans in here and, and finally play. Man, it was awesome. It was so cool all day long. I don't know. It was, today was weird. You know, last week we obviously opened up against Wichita State. You think you get those jitters out, but today I woke up with a whole different kind of jitters. It was a, yeah. uh, it was uh, it was crazy, and it was just it was awesome to finally for it to finally happen. You know, last year was tough. We were a week away from playing TCU, and here it would have been a packed house. And although it wasn't packed tonight, it was about as good as it could get. Hey, Kevin. that kind of loosen things up. You talk about the nerves and everything. Say that again. Did that did that second run? Did that second inning of the five runs? That kind of loosen things up with those with the nerves. I think so for the whole team. You know, this those first going out there in a new stadium like that, it's really it can be overbearing. I don't know, almost in a sense. Um, but I think you know, Josh talked to us about it earlier today. He was like, you know, just go out there. We're not going to get overhyped for this. We're just going to go out there and play good baseball. And I think, like you said, once that inning started getting going, I think everyone was like, a deep breath and was like, all right, we got 11 million. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, fellas. Guys, at the same time, Coach remembers he was just a baby, but when they opened the old stadium, they got beat by Missouri. And there's some people that never forgot that. So did you feel yeah. that kind of overwhelming pressure that, hey, guys, we've got to stay cool, but we got to win this game? <laughs> um, I definitely – I mean, yeah, of course you want to you want to open a stadium off right. You don't want to you don't want to start it off with the losing like a I guess a losing streak. So, I mean, in the back of my mind, a little bit, yeah, it was it was there. But I was just trying to you know, like Josh was saying, play good baseball. I mean, do all the little things correct, and at the end of the day, if you do that correct, you're gonna win. So. Now, there, were, there weren't many things that went wrong. I mean, starting with that five run. Take me through the five run in uh, bottom of the second. <laughs> uh, no, it was a, uh, it was good. It was a good inning, you know. I think, like I was saying earlier, it took us a minute to just kind of get settled in. But once you get in there and get going, I mean, things started clicking. I mean, um, on it was Monday. Monday, I mean, our offense was it was looking good, and I think that was. I mean, we have. I think we have a really good offense. So I think it was just a matter of getting out there and. Just rolling, get going a little bit. And once we got one run in there, loosened up a little bit, and everyone just, like I said, took a deep breath and started going. One last question for me. Uh, he's done it once, but he came in and just pitched to the last hitter tonight. How powerful is it watching Brett Stanley close games? It looks like he's going to have that role, and he's looking pretty good with it. You know, I think you guys are going to get to see throughout the year. To answer your question directly, it's awesome. Everyone loves Brett. Brett is the biggest energy guy we have on the team. Um, you love seeing Brett go out there because you know he's going to perform every time. He's going to give it his all. You don't have to worry about that. And uh, But I think as the year goes on, you guys are going to be pretty shocked to see how many guys we're going to be able to roll out there. And you're going to be like, dang, like that guy's, that guy's good. We have we have a good uh, pitching staff, so um, I'm excited for it. You guys have played a million games in all sorts of parks in your lives with all sorts of lighting. The lights here seem unbelievable to me. I mean, we're in the press box. You could clearly see the activity in the bullpen, right? So I just wonder what it's like defensively and to see the ball off the pitcher's hand with this kind of light. Uh, I know at night when the lights are actually on, We've only been out there a few times. Uh, we went out there a few times, yeah, in the fall that we've played under the lights, but the lights are incredible. They're so bright, but they point straight down. They're not right out in your face. So 
that's awesome. Um, the beginning of those games, those it's a little tougher. Those shadows are no joke out there. Yeah. And, um, but once that sun gets down behind the press box, it, it's money. The park's awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, so, Alex got that first run. Cade, you got that first hit. What was that like? Well, it was a little extra special for me, I guess, because I actually got a hit today. So that was <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. I had a tough start to the weekend, um, but it was good. You know, I I felt good. I felt comfortable rolling out there. Um, it, I didn't actually even know it until they like threw the ball back to the dugout. I had no idea. I figured we'd already gotten a hit by then. So, but uh, it was a really cool moment. Um, it was awesome. It's, it'd be something really cool to look back on. Alex, in your bio, it says your favorite baseball memory is Trevor Boone's home run. Does this top? Does this home run top it? Oh man, that's a good <laughs> question. I don't. I don't know. I mean, that one was a uh... man. I... <laughs> that's a tough question. Uh... I would say I would. I would still say Trevor Boone is still probably my favorite home run, just because I love the kid to death. He's. He's to this day still one of my best friends, and you know I can only wish well for somebody. So I, I would still say that's probably the best one. Yeah, Alex, they they talk about the home run a, a lot. How important was it for for you guys to hit the first home run? Did you did you guys talk about that? Was there any extra pressure that that you know it wasn't an opponent hitting the first home run in the city? Well, see, so that was the thing. Like after I hit it, I went out to and then that uh, the first baseman for the other team hit his home run. And I was just, I was out there thinking, I was like, I, I didn't really think about this, but if he would have hit that before mine, one second, sorry, hold on. Oh, sorry, I thought I had to sneeze, but um, uh, like it kind of, I like, I think I would have been pretty, pretty upset about it. I would have been pretty angry just because like, you don't want to let another team roll in here and take, you know, the thunder from like the home team, I guess. So yeah, I guess in all, like, all in all, I would, I would have been pretty upset if he would have hit his first. I think that ball ended up in their bullpen. Do you know what happened to it after that? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know if, like, they gave it to him or what exactly happened, but I have no idea.